The Danish West India Company, Danish Vestendisk Company, or Danish West India Guinea Company, Det Vestendisk Guineas Company, was a Dano-Norwegian chartered company that exploited colonies in the Danish West Indies. Topic: History. In March 1659 the Danish Africa Company was started in Gluckstadt by the originally Finnish Hendrik Karloff, two Dutchmen Isaac Koymans and Nikolaj Pankras and two German merchants, Vincent Klingenberg and Jacob Del Bo. Their mandate included trade with the Danish Gold Coast in present-day Ghana. In 1671 the Africa Company was incorporated in the Danish West India Company. The West India Company was organised on November 20, 1670, and formally chartered by King Christian V on March 11, 1671. The Danes settled in St. Thomas in 1668. The first successful colonisation of St. Thomas employed ships of the Royal Dano Norwegian Navy, the yacht Den Forgyldi Krona and the frigate Faroe, referring to the islands, but often erroneously translated as Faroe. But the company quickly began employing ships of their own, while occasionally relying on the Royal Navy for escorts and protection. From August 30, 1680, it became known as the West India Guinea Company. At first, the company had difficulties being profitable, but eventually it began to increase revenue by raising taxes and bringing all colonial exports into Copenhagen directly. St. John was purchased in 1718 and St. Croix from the French in 1733. In the 17th and 18th centuries, the company flourished from the North Atlantic triangular trade routes. Slaves from the Gold Coast of Africa were traded for molasses and rum in the West Indies. Topic: <inaudible> Closure and Revival. The company administered the colonies until 1754, when the Danish government's Chamber of Revenues took control. From 1760 to 1848, the governing body was known as Vestendisk Guinnesk Rond og Generaltolkammer. Frederick Bargham revived the company as Det Guinnesk Company via Royal Resolution of March 18, 1765, to maintain the trade with the Danish Gold Coast colonies. In November, they received the forts of Christianborg and Fredensborg for 20 years. The company, however, never enjoyed a trade monopoly like the Dutch West India Company. Competition for trade remained among all Danish, Norwegian, Schleswig and Holstein companies. The financially troubled company was liquidated on November 22, 1776. In anticipation of this, the Dano Norwegian government took control of the granted forts from August September 1775. Bargham had fled the country to escape his creditors in 1774. <laughs> company ships Charlotte Amelie 1680s, Den Unge Tobias, Young Tobias, 1687. Road Hain, Red Cock, 1687. Maria, 1687. Pelicanen, The Pelican. Unity, 1700s. Topic. See also. Danish West Indies. List of Governors of the Danish West Indies List of Trading Companies Danish East India Company European Chartered Companies founded around the 17th century in French Dane Gun Fort Christianborg